I think this is going to be the actual proper juice to go inside of this TY60, I believe, transmission for the Clover 4. Now, this being GL4 and being the 7580, this flows, it's a little more liquid in its flow, whereas 7590, very thick stuff, like molasses, like syrup almost. The only reason we were using MT90 is because it's readily available. This stuff is not. Yeah, so all in all, this should be a pretty easy job. Famous last words, let's hope not. A 17 millimeter, I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna gently, <laughs> carefully, snake it under all this stuff without hurting anything. So we're just gonna go ahead and drain it. Take one out at a time or mark them because the magnetic one is the lower one. Put that back in. I don't believe there's any torque specs online. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to torque this down really good. You can reuse this little washer in here that came with it. That's been known to hold a good seal because I don't know what part number that is and I don't think anyone else does. I already got it loose. So we're just gonna take her back out. Okay, there is, oh, and I almost lost it. Wow, good save. I just saved that washer. It is a 5 16th hose, the mix miser injector. So what I do here, you can see I just make sure this ends clean yep and I can insert this little hose into the top of the transmission I can take this I snake it back here and it will actually sit and stay okay so rule here is 2.2 quarts and what you do is you want to fill this up until you actually see it pour out and I'm on perfectly level ground so I'm just gonna fill this bad boy up Till its hands go up and they stay there and they stay there and they stay there. So we're just going to wait. Want to fill up my crevice? Why does Snoop Dogg always carry his umbrella? For the drizzle. Yeah. Hey Google. Stop. Here's the cool thing about Subaru though. You know how they make cars that are like Legos. So you can piece different year models together and they'll use the same parts from a parts bin. Well, this 1991 Subaru Sangbar shares the same shifter bushing with a 2015 WRX. How freaking cool is that? I would not suggest doing that unless you know exactly what you're doing with those. An experienced grabber. I kind of made my own RTV. My bushing was shot. Here's the bushing. Then here was that little brass like sleeve that it fit up. I had to mangle it and cut it in the car. All right, you want to press this into this. Press this in on top. A washer. And I got myself a new cotter pin, because why not? Man, what a difference the shift cable made. Holy cow. There's like very little slop anymore. And the engagement is, it's so direct. Like when you shift gears, it's, it's just bam. And the throw is shorter why is that the throw into the gear is really short and i think that's because the old rubber bushing when you actually were throwing it in the gear that rubber bushing was probably squishing in the clutch cable where the eye for the clutch cable is so when you're trying to move the cable you probably had like a little bit of play before anything actually happened and now with the Perrin solid bushing, it's like when you shift it, boom, boom. It's, it's, it's just there. That yes, we have Perrin parts on our sandbar.